name's Ivy. I'm a Disneyland local that loves traveling to Disney World. And today we're going to chat about our owner's locker. I heard about the owner's locker a few years ago, just from someone on Instagram that was talking about how they kept things in Florida for their vacation. I thought that that was an interesting concept to kind of have some sort of storage without it being a giant storage unit but instead it's a storage bin. Now this year we knew we had so many trips planned and thought maybe this was the year that we were going to get our owner's locker. So this is now our fourth trip, I believe, utilizing our owner's locker. And it is so nice when you're packing to just really pack your clothes and anything beyond that we have here. You can keep pretty much anything you want in the owner's locker. There is a list of items that they ask you not to keep in here but for the most part, you can put in here the things that you need for your vacation. Now, uh, this is not sponsored in any way. This is just, I would like to share what we keep here because to me, it's been very helpful. I know that there are people that travel from the UK that leave a ton of stuff in their owner's locker because if you also think about it in the sense of if you pay for luggage, you potentially could pack less because it's already here. So you have to kind of look at the cost, see if it will offset for you, see if it makes sense. For us this year, it made so much sense. There's also sometimes deals when you sign up, like six months free, first year um, free deliveries, like all sorts of different things. And so I believe when I signed up, there was one year of free deliveries and I think it was the first six months free and the second six months half off. I think that that's what the promotion was when I signed up. Either way, it was a good promotion. It made sense. So we pulled the trigger. When we flew out here in January, we brought, I brought two pieces of luggage. I brought a medium suitcase with all of my stuff that I needed. And I brought a carry on suitcase that was just full of all of this, what we're going to go over today. Some of this stuff we use every trip some of the stuff we have to just have on hand in case we need it it's just kind of nice having that extra sense of security for a few items instead of feeling like you are stuck in florida or on vacation without having access to certain things so to kick things off i used to pack my popcorn bucket in my suitcase and this is a prime amount of real estate for luggage I love having the refillable popcorn buckets on our trips, even though I haven't really utilized it to its full potential in the last couple of vacations. I am a huge fan of the maple popcorn in Canada and a $1.50, $2 refill. It's the way to go. In my popcorn bucket, I also keep a collapsible fan. So these are some of the chargeable fans that you can get on Amazon. Love these. And then these are actually Mickey ears that go on my safari hat. I got this safari hat. It's from Two Park Princess. You can find them on Instagram. And it's just the most perfect thing for me because of how much I love Animal Kingdom. It's not a very practical thing to pack when you're traveling to and from California. So finally, um, a few trips ago, I decided to leave it in the owner's locker. Uh, it is, is getting a little banged up because our owner's locker is a little full, but we're doing the best we can. On the same line with fans, we do have one of our big collapsible Mickey fans in here. So it's nice to just have one because you never know how hot or how humid it's going to be in Florida. On the electronics and recreation front, uh, this actually came in our owner's locker. So they do have a few things to help you pack strategically. In here, we keep all of our phone cases, our um, other USB cords that we have. I have like a power strip of USBs. So in some of the rooms, there are not as many plugs or USBs as you need for, you know, phones, camera batteries, Apple watches, and now Magic Band Plus, and just all the things that you may be charging. So this has been really handy. In here, we also have just a regular plug for USBs, batteries, not for any real reason. I just thought if I'm taking stuff for just in case, just in case batteries sounded like a good idea. So we have a package of double A AA and triple A. Uh, this pink thing is a case for my glass straws. So I utilize that just whenever we're in the room and I have drinks uh, or drink my greens in the morning. I like to have glass straws. And we have a deck of cards. AJ and I have a relationship long game of rummy going on. And whenever we have some downtime, we like to bust out a deck of cards and play. So that's all in here, um, which also ties to 
the scorecard book. So this is where we keep our scores for when we're on vacation. We have items in case we want to do laundry. Now, when we're in DVC rooms that are one bedroom or bigger, they have a washer and dryer and they usually supply the laundry detergent. I do have laundry detergent in our owner's locker just in case. Um, if we are in a studio and we want to do laundry, I do believe that they will give you soap, I think is how it works. I'm not 100% sure. Um, or just like this day we were, we were in just a regular hotel room, so if we needed to do laundry for any reason. So I have just a little bottle of Gain, which I picked up at Target, a small box of dryer sheets, and then this is a little beat up now, but uh, the Shout color corrector, so that way we could just do one big load of laundry and don't have to worry about any color bleeding. Now we're going to move on to kind of the bathroom and toiletries section. I have this big case. I got this a few years ago in Epcot. It was in a pack that had this print on it with a bunch of different pouches. I fell in love with it, but this big toiletry pouch is one of the best things because of, of just how giant it is. In here we have a ton of different toiletry items. Um, everything from face wash, moisturizer, hair mousse, toy, uh, toothpaste, sunscreen, dry shampoo. But we, there's also a couple other small bottles in here of like the downy wrinkle releaser. We have Febreze and we also have bug spray. I find that when I stay in resorts like this that are on water, I get, I get bit a little bit more often. So I like to have some bug spray just in case. Port Orleans Riverside. That one's always the worst for me. So I have this on hand. We also have a set of toothbrushes that we keep here. I just tried to pack like everything we could in our owner's locker. That includes floss. It includes Q-tips. Uh, we have a pump soap for hand soap. I don't love the bars of soap, so that's really nice. And then we also have some full-size products. So in here, I have full-size shampoo, conditioner, um, a hair rinse, shave cream for AJ, and then like the biggest bottle of hairspray to try to battle Florida humidity for me. We also have a spray bottle. I use this when I put my hair in heatless curlers at night. AJ also uses this to do his hair. And then, of course, a trip would not be complete without going to Basin to stock up on bath bombs. So I have a couple bath bombs in here and AJ has a couple of shower bombs. Unfortunately tonight I don't have a bathtub and we are in a, an ADA accessible room. So it is a flat bath, bathroom floor and shower only. So no bath for me tonight, but that's okay. So we'll save these for next time. Oh, some of the most important thing that you can pack for a bathroom is we do have our own toilet paper in here. If you have stayed at Disney resorts, you know that they use the Scott, uh, the Scott tissue that is not great. <laughs> so we do keep a roll of some nicer toilet paper in our owner's locker. I have some of my hair tools, a little curling iron when I need it, a blow dry brush, which helps blow dry my hair in rapid speed, and a big bottle of sunscreen. I think that's all for kind of like our, oh, I lied. I got picked this up on our last trip out here. I bought it on Amazon. It's a mirror with lights in it. Um, we stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge more often than, or at least that's where most of our reservations start. I may change our reservations sometimes, but most of our reservations are typically at Animal Kingdom Lodge and those bathrooms are very dark. So. On the last trip when I was having a hard time doing my makeup in the mirror because of how dark it was, I decided I would pick up one of these mirrors that have lights in it and it's charged by USB. Next we're going to transition to some of the things that we keep in our owner's locker as far as like kitchen goods. I do have some boxes of small Ziplocs and large Ziplocs. These are nice to have on hand because you never know when you're going to need a Ziploc or when you're going to get some extra pastries in France to take home or refill your popcorn bucket and want to dump it out in a Ziploc to get another refill. Just saying. We have a small little container of olive oil and salt and pepper. So when you do have the kitchen space, it is not stocked with anything to cook with. It's cooked, stocked with all of like your dishes and cookware needs, but when I went to cook dinner, I realized that I needed seasonings, oil, all of that. 
So we picked that up on our last trip and kept it in there. And then as far as coffee cups go, most of the coffee cups in the rooms are relatively small, or if you're in a studio like we are today, it's only paper cups. So we grabbed some insulated mugs that we keep in here, um, as well as some stevia for AJ for his coffee in the morning. Now me, I am a tea drinker. So this is something that I picked up on Amazon a few years ago, and it has traveled with me everywhere. I have two. I have one that I keep at home for when I travel to places that aren't Disney, and then I have one that lives at Disney because it is a collapsible or expandable tea kettle. And I know a lot of people will just say you can get hot water in the coffee makers. It's just not the same. It just tastes like dirty coffee water and then it doesn't make your tea taste very good. So tea kettle, big win. The last thing that's stocked in our kitchen is AJ's bottle of bourbon. <laughs> so um, just being able to have some something on hand and then you can pick up a soda have a nice bourbon and coke keep it in there and it lives in our owner's locker now we are coming to an end of all of the items the last kind of category i've thrown together is our um, what happens when it rains in florida so we do have collab or packable raincoats packable poncho and then we have three umbrellas one of them is also a, a UV umbrella that I used on our last trip and it saved my life. Also have a really lightweight small backpack. So we've stopped really carrying big backpacks around in the park. One, they are so heavy and they make you real hot and I don't enjoy that one bit. So we've started just kind of using, um, this is an Eagle Creek brand backpack and we can fit just the few items that we need in here. Typically it's a water bottle, sometimes an umbrella, and that's really all we have been traveling with lately when we go into the parks. And last but not least, there is a cozy pair of sweatpants in here. They're nice little Mickey sweatpants. AJ picked these up here a few years ago, and the, on one of our last trips said, you know, I think I might just keep that in our owner's locker so I don't have to think about packing pajamas. So a few other things that we thought about putting in our owner's locker, um, have been swimsuits to just keep some here. I feel like that's something that sometimes slips our mind when we're packing. So keeping some swimsuits on hand. I feel like there was one other thing recently. That, oh, after the hurricane, I was thinking that maybe we should keep some flashlights. And I know I said that I had some batteries, but even some extra batteries, uh, just in case, you know, hurricane season's so long. So chances of one day being here in a hurricane, I wouldn't completely rule it out just in case thought that that might be helpful i think in our kitchen items we could also use a wine key the dvc rooms typically have them they're not always that great uh, but we do still stay in non-dvc rooms so just to kind of have that on hand oh i typically have a brita <clears throat> so i got in a fight with our brita on our last trip and it didn't survive so you i got the fight because you threw it away it did not survive the fight because I threw it away. Um, so I am going to buy a new Brita, a different one. One that pours, I think it's called like the pour stream. I don't know. I'll show British, you. British stream. Brita stream. Um, that way it doesn't take so long to fill up and then have to pour water from. So I'm going to get, I am going to get a new Brita to put in here, especially um, for our next trip when we're back out here in January. It's eight days long. And no one wants to keep buying water bottles for eight days, so we will definitely be buying a Brita before then. But besides that, these are kind of the goods that we keep in here. Everyone has different things in their owner's locker. I watched a few different YouTube videos, um, and everyone seems to pack different items. I know that there are some families that have multiple owner's lockers. Um, you can really store things all the way to golf clubs or even Christmas trees. So people that have Christmas vacations, they're able to store their Christmas tree all year long in a box of Christmas decorations and then come out here and they drop it off at your resort and you can decorate for Christmas. How fun does that sound? So we just have one owner's locker. We'll probably only keep one owner's locker for a long time or until it makes sense for us to have the owner's locker. I think for now and the next, at least for next year and the vacations we have planned, we will definitely be utilizing it. Um, I will I will put the website in the details below. Um, like again, 
not sponsored in any way. Just wanted to share some information. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll answer those for you. So thank you so much for checking out what we keep in our owner's locker. We'll see you guys on our next Disney vacation.